Why was Kennedy killed? Who benefited? Who has the power to cover it up? From his conclusion to just who assassinated a U.S. president, to a rock band that shaped the 60s, to a satirical look at serial killers, Oliver Stone's films are sure to do one thing, cause controversy. He admits his movies reflect his point of view and says the screenplays he writes are adapted from his own life's experiences. Critics have applauded his movies, but more times than most, they've ridiculed Stone's outlandish style. There is no love lost between the reviewers and this controversial director. They kill me off in the reviews. I mean, it's always, they, they blame me for everything on the film. By killing the messenger, you don't have to listen to the message. But today at Miami-Dade Community College, Stone had hundreds of listeners and the students that attended this question and answer well, seminar. They wanted to know everything, including how to be a star. If you're good, it'll come out. If not, you'll join, the, uh, you'll, you'll join the extra pool and you'll be seen in the background. And why he decided to do Natural Born Killers. I wanted the movie to be about violence. I wanted the movie to be about what is violence in our society. What, 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 it's not just about the media. But violence begets violence. There's a family history, there's genetic history, there's environment. And what he thinks about director Quentin Tarantino, who wrote the original screenplay for Killers. He got really upset that his script was rewritten and he went everywhere in the world and he trashed our movie without even seeing it. I thought that was pretty appalling. Oliver Stone certainly calls it as he sees it and when it comes to the media, be it print or TV, Stone hits hard. I hate to... Uh, Having to deal with movie critics who are always easy, the first to, to tear down the work, you know, and often don't really are careless, are careless in what they write. It soured me for uh, quite a while on the media here in this country and the way they, they don't play fair. A little bit of detachment is necessary when you see yourself misquoted 75% of the time. So the students asked, Oliver, what are you working on next? I would love to tell you yes, but I can't. Uh, the press uh, would report it, and I don't want to have the same issue that I had with Noriega <laughs> and Evita. Yes, Oliver, we probably would. Lisa Petrillo, Channel 10 Eyewitness News, on the Night Beat.